Hello loves! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another affordable full face and we're doing a full face of nothing new today and this makeup look, it's really good. The eyeshadow palette, the foundation combo is bomb. There's just a lot of goodies in today's video and nothing is new. So grab your makeup and your products, get a snack, get cozy and let's get into it. Do some glam and have some girl time. Brows are done, lids are primed because that usually is the base for the rest of the makeup. Once this is done, I can move on to the rest. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I cannot believe I've never used before. Milani Gilded Terra. I love Milani eyeshadows. I think they're such great quality. This one is stunning. I want to use some of the greens and browns today. I don't even know why I haven't used this. I feel like this could be a gorgeous palette also for the spring, the summertime, but even now in the fall and winter as well because you have these gorgeous golden purple and green tones in here. So I want to use this today, but I want a couple lighter transition colors. You could always use your favorite bronzer as well, but I'm going to use this little bite size I love you a latte palette from elf it has the most perfect light transition shades so let's start with this first I'm gonna use both of these colors right here on a fluffy brush speaking of elf I have on the squeeze me lip balm this one is the vanilla frosting it literally feels or smells like a vanilla cupcake on my lips and it's so moisturizing so I really like those I'm gonna take both of these shades and by the way I love the mirrors that come in the Milani palettes I'm gonna take both of those colors and just apply those in the crease. You know what, let me switch brushes. I want something a little bit more fluffy. If you want just a really simple neutral palette for every day, this one from e.l.f. is one of my favorites. And I have a little leftover glitter on this brush, so there's a little bit of glitter that is getting on my lids, but it's actually kind of cute and I might use it later on for this look anyway, so it is all good. I'm just building those colors up. Applying them in the crease and also on the outer lid. Honestly, pretty much all over. I always like to do this to start. Then I feel like it just makes the rest of the eyeshadow process so much easier. And these bite size palettes from e.l.f., these will never get old to me. They are so pigmented and the fact that they're under $5 is amazing. By the way, this is one of the best fluffy blending brushes. It's the BK Beauty A503. It is so soft and just the fluffiest brush. It's perfect for just all over lid shades and in the crease. Okay, perfect. Let's do a little bit of this brown down here from the Milani palette. This one is in Branch Out. I'm gonna use a smaller little crease brush. This is so pigmented. And I'm gonna start dabbling that shade right on the outer lid. Wow, that is super pigmented. I love these Milani palettes. I've just never tried this color story in particular, but I've tried other bigger palettes like this from Milani and they are fabulous. I think super underrated for sure. I feel like a lot of people probably don't even notice them at the drugstore because of the packaging. Personally, I feel like if they had packaging where you could actually see the shadows, they would be so much more popping because they're stunning, but they're usually covered at the drugstore. But anyways, they're really good quality, so. I recommend. I might do a little bit of green too on the outer lid, but I'm gonna see how this looks first. I love the combo of greens with the browns. This gorgeous emerald green on the bottom is calling my name. I think I wanna dabble into that a tiny bit and smudge them on the outer lid, mixing it in with the brown just to kind of see the color that it creates. Okay, it kind of just makes it darker. Okay, literally made it black. <laughs> That's okay, I'm gonna just blend that out. These have a really soft formula though. They're kind of satiny. They feel super nice. Yeah, duh, that made it like black because I'm mixing in a dark green with a brown. But anyways, let's go into this color right here. This is beautiful. Sage Advice. It's a green, but it almost has a little bit of a glittery finish. I'm gonna pop that on the lid. I'm gonna use a flat brush. I've been loving this one. It's from Amazon. It's kind of like just a flat little concealer brush. Let me spray the brush. I'm using Milani Setting Spray. Typically, whenever I spray my eyeshadow brush, I'm usually using whatever spray I'm using for the day. I'm gonna take that green and very lightly just pack it on. Ooh, that is so pretty. It's like an emerald sage. Ooh, I like that a lot. Are you kidding? That is so beautiful. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, that's nice. You guys know that TikTok sound. <laughs> oh my gosh, this color is so pretty though. It's such a unique green. Why have I never used this before? I don't know, but 
this is why this is your sign to use up products that you already have in your collection because then when you haven't used them in a while it's like it's new makeup you know like it feels like it's new makeup at least very into this green color it is different than other greens that i have it's a little bit deeper but that kind of duochrome effect is so pretty it's giving mermaid i love it i'm gonna take a little bit more of this emerald color on the bottom and i'm just gonna kind of add that where i put the brown I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do just let me just see how this looks. I might hate it, I might love it. Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminating Powdered Highlighter. This one is in golden. I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on my finger. It's one of those highlighters that has a really nice, fine glitter touch. So you can kind of dabble it over your lids or over any other eyeshadow to give it a little bit of sparkle. I'm just gonna do a bit of this on the lid just to see how it looks it's pretty subtle but it still gives a nice little little touch yeah that's cute i definitely don't want to take away from the green it's very subtle but i think it's just gonna add a nice little sparkle something else you could do this is actually why i had glitter on this fluffy brush but you can take a fluffy brush dip it into that glitter and you can kind of apply it all over your lids to give it a more all over a very fine glittery look versus with your finger where you're really going to concentrate and pack on the glitter with the brush it's going to be just more dispersed on your lids oh my gosh i'm in love with this i haven't used a green eyeshadow like this in like ever so i'm very impressed let's get into some mascara and lashes of course i want to do a really pretty wispy lash today what else is new i'm going to use my covergirl clean topia mascara i have this one in extreme black i also love the brown version for everyday makeup this mascara is great it gives volume it gives length it gives all the things that you want for your lashes so I am going to apply falsies today and one of my all-time favorites are the AOA Studio lashes in the style Alexis. They're super similar to the Kiss So Wispy lashes that I love so much, like the Pixie ones, the number 11s. These are just a little bit longer. You can get them on Amazon and I swear by these. I think they're just a good go-to lash that look really pretty with so many looks and they're really lightweight and comfy, literally just what it says on the packaging but they really are and they're super easy to apply and what do i always say lashes make everything better and what i always like to do is actually curl my lashes after i have them on and they have fully dried and i just do a little curl and it makes such a difference kind of also just makes your real lashes blend so much better with your falsies and i also always recommend applying a little black liner to your top lash line that way it just looks so much more blended and your lashes look darker at the root so it just looks better especially if you're going to be taking pictures so lashes are on now we can move into the skin so to set my makeup you guys know i love the milani make it last i actually ran out of the smaller original i only have the bigger one but i love the matte version to this as well but another kind of good spray that i always keep in rotation i've repurchased so many times and i think it's good for honestly all skin types and just for anything is this nyx bear with me prime set and refresh spray natural finish it's great before makeup after makeup or in between layers and it's just really good for hydrating your skin and just melting in all of your products without changing the finish of it so this is what it looks like like i said i've repurchased this so many times and it's just one of those sprays that i always like to keep in my makeup routine or in the mix because it's so good and so versatile so i'm actually going to use this today to prep my skin And for primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This one is the Liquid Poreless Putty. This is sort of similar to the original. It's still going to smooth you out, give you a nice poreless finish. But it's a bit more hydrating, so if maybe you don't like how thick the original putty primer is, I think you would really like this. I personally love this now because my skin's a little bit more dry, so I want something that is a little bit more hydrating. And I love this formula. For foundation, I'm going to do a little mixture, Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm going to go in with the shade 05 Warm Beige. I'm going to also mix in a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this one I have in the color shade 3 Light Medium. So let's do a little mixture. 
Oops, I don't think my pump works in the Milani foundation. I think this color will match me though. If not, we're gonna have to make it work. Maybe I'll mix in a little bit of the shade light beige just to lighten this up a bit because I have like no tan to me right now. Yeah, I think that might work. I want something, since this is super glam, a bit more full coverage and this Milani foundation is it with the coverage. And I'm also just gonna take some of the e.l.f. liquid filter and then just mix the foundation with this as well. Ooh, I think we have a good match. So again, I used shade in the Milani 05 and a little bit of 03. Ooh, the undertone is really good too. The Milani foundation is generally more matte, so I just want a bit more of a glowy finish. That's why I added the liquid filter from e.l.f. And I love that product as well because it is so versatile and you could use it alone. You can mix it with your favorite foundations and it just gives the most gorgeous, healthy glow. Milani foundation is actually really gorgeous on this skin as well. And I love how full coverage it is. Ooh, I'm going to have to do that combo again. It looks really good. I'm just adding a little extra. I'm into it. That's a really nice combo. Note to self, do that again. Look how good that looks. It looks super healthy, but still full coverage. And we got a good match, so double whammy. Let's do a little cream blush. I think I'm gonna skip out on cream bronzer today and just do powdered bronzer. I'm gonna use the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek 3-in-1 Color Cream. This one is in Rosewood. I love this brand. You can get them at Ulta and their cream blushes are insane. They're so pigmented and dewy on the skin and I really love this color. It's like just the most gorgeous rosewood shade so i'm gonna apply this just on the apples of my cheeks a little bit these are so extremely pigmented so i recommend dipping your brush in and applying some on the back of your hand first because they are insane but they're really really nice and they have really pretty colors as well i think this shade is just the most beautiful for this time of year it is so rich and pigmented oh my gosh I forgot how pigmented that is. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and kind of run over that just to kind of dilute that a little bit because it is so intense, but it gives a really gorgeous wash of color. I mean, look at this, you guys. I like dipped my brush in just a little bit and then I wiped the rest on the back of my hand. That's how intense it is. And this is a Fenty 125 face brush. Oldie, but a goodie. Keeping the full coverage look, I'm going to take the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, another oldie but goodie, and this one I have in Golden Natural. This concealer does dry really fast, so I recommend working in sections and working pretty quickly with it, but I love the coverage of it, and it is super creamy, but you just have to work fast. I also don't recommend adding too much because it is so full coverage. It kind of gives like Tarte Shape Tape vibes a little bit, so... Less is more for sure, but I think it looks really good though. Every time I wear this, I'm like, ooh, I always forget how good it looks on the skin when I don't use it for a while. You can use the edges of the concealer around this area to blend out the cream blush. That's why sometimes I do like to apply concealer after the cream blush because it makes everything in the cheek area look a little bit more seamless and blended. And what I always like to do is just keep my foundation brush on hand or just any any brush just to kind of blend the edges of that out a little bit any concealer with whatever product is left over when i do a smoky eye i always like to make sure too that i do a little extra product and extra blending i should say around this part of the nose because sometimes it can get a little bit dark and i'll maybe drag the eyeshadow a little too far in so i like to make sure this area is nice and light so i will really concentrate any product and extra blending in that area it looks really, really good. Touching up more blush. This is just whatever is left over on that 125 face brush. Okay, the Milani foundation is so gorgeous because it does have such nice coverage. It literally is like baby doll skin. And then with the liquid filter, I have to do this combo more often. I think this is gonna be the new foundation routine. Wow. Let's set the under eyes. I'm gonna also bring it back with this really old powder that I have not used in a while, but I remember this being really, really smooth and pretty. It's the Beauty Bakery Flower setting powder and this one is in translucent you can usually find the smaller version to this at target do you guys have a favorite translucent powder at the drugstore because i feel like i always use the same ones usually the one from la girl or the elf halo glow so i wanted to use something different today yeah that looks really good oh wow 
the way that that just blurred my skin instantly and i just used a little bit so i'm taking my puff dipping it in and then what i like to do i don't like to apply it when it looks like this because then that's how it's going to look on the under eyes and it can just be a bit much i just wipe that on the back of my hand and make sure that it looks nice and smooth when i apply it like i always say blend out your under eye creases and then go in with powder Ooh. I like it. That looks so good. I'm just taking whatever is left over and just applying that around my T-zone. Love. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm using a repeat. This is from my last video, but this is genuinely, I think, the best pressed powder at the drugstore. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder. I'm using the shade Light Medium. I truly cannot stop using this powder. I've also gone through a couple of these. This is a repurchase. I keep the shade light if I ever want a little bit of a bright under eye look, but light medium is my go-to just to set my entire face or for touch-ups. It is just the best. It's nice and smooth and matte, but not a drying kind of matte powder. And it looks really, really good on the skin over so many different foundation concealer combos. Let's add some bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. You get four bronzers in here for $10, you guys. I've had this for years, and it is one of the most beautiful bronzer palettes. Such a great formula. I love how big the pan sizes are. So I'm going to use both of these colors up top and just bronze my forehead a little bit. Another palette that I've loved for years. This is the LA Girl Island Hottie palette. They have another one, which I actually have here. This is the Blushed Babe. So this one has a pinky, a kind of quirly, and some lighter, more earthy tone, like neutral blushes. And then the Island Hottie palette is something that I will forever have in my collection. I've had this for years. And palettes are great because you can always mix and match and create your own shades. So I'm going to mix these three colors right here. This is really pigmented. And the blushes are also gonna give a little bit of that kind of natural glow. So you can skip out on highlighter. Do you guys still use highlighter? I use it sometimes, but I don't really use it as much as I used to. I just prefer a more glowy blush these days. It truly really depends on my mood, but this is really nice too. I forgot how good this palette is. I still use it sometimes whenever I want a more kind of orangey blush, but I have it stored away in my palette drawer. So I kind of sometimes forget about it to be honest, but. LA Girl is just always gonna do it for me every time. Let's do one of, I was gonna say one of my favorites. Everything is one of my favorites, but seriously, this is one of my all-time favorite lip combos that I've done for years. LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liners. If you guys have not tried these and you've watched my videos, what are you doing? Just kidding, but seriously, these come in stunning shades. I love the color Gingerbread and Maple Glaze. I'm gonna use Maple Glaze today. I'm gonna also kind of like blend the edges of that and then rub my lips together so that it looks super blended. I always like to make sure I keep it so it's emphasized but not too much. I always laugh whenever I get comments about having lip filler. I'm like, girl, you guys could totally tell if I had lip filler. You can still even literally see lines on my lips. And I feel like people who have lip filler, nothing wrong with it, by the way, but their lips are so completely smooth. If I had lip filler, you could tell. But I'm like, no, I got it from my mama. Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in the shade Tease. I think this is my all-time favorite lipstick ever, like, in general. It is so good. It works with so many different lip liners. It really is that perfect nude. Are you kidding? Every time I put this on, I'm like, yes, please. I think my second favorite is probably the e.l.f. O'Face Satin Lipsticks, but I like these because it does have a really nice, comfortable, soft matte feel. Then, NYX Butter Glosses. Shout out to NYX Butter Glosses for extending their shades over the years and just keeping the most beautiful, consistent, buttery formula on the lips. Fortune Cookie 2 is truly that girl. This looks good over so many other lip combos. If you ever wanna lighten up your nude, I thought that was something with like a little pimple, but if you ever wanna lighten up any of your nude lip combos fortune cookie is the best shade and i've seen this on so many different skin tones and it looks so good it is so smooth it's not sticky some people say lip gloss is always sticky but this one isn't like it's perfect 
Let's finish up the eyes. I have the most perfect eyeliner. Well, I think it's perfect. I think it's going to be nice. This is the Essence Stay and Play Gel Liner. It's like a really nice emerald green. I'm going to try it out and see how it looks. It's literally an emerald dragon. Never used this before, but I love Essence eyeliners. How does that look? It's like double green, but oh, actually, I like it. It's a little bit different than the lid color, but I like it. These are super creamy. Okay, I actually really like this color. I think it's a very wearable emerald green if you want to do a little pop of color, but keep it simple. This is cute. Let's go back to the Milani palette. I'm going to take... Let's take this lighter shade right here. I pop that in the inner corners. This one is in Enjoy the View. I just applied a little lower lash mascara and I'm just touching up my brows with the NYX brow glue just to remove any makeup or powder that may be on them. Alrighty, and then I think we're all done. I'm gonna use a little Milani Make It Last Matte. I have like a tiny bit of these. The amount of bottles that I've gone through this in my lifetime is insane, but this one is amazing if you love a more matte finish. The original bottle has more of a natural finish, and then they have a white bottle if you love a super dewy finish, but the matte one is really good. Love, we're done. Dare I say, this is one of my favorite makeup looks that I've ever done. This turned out so much better than I thought. A couple standout products in here. Definitely this Gilded Terra palette from Milani. Next level. The shadows were really nice and pigmented. They were buttery, smooth. And this green is one of the most beautiful greens in my collection. Love it so much. I also really like this Beauty Bakery setting powder. This looks really good on the under eyes. Nice and smooth. And it just makes the makeup look airbrushed so i really like this i also love the foundation combo with the elf liquid filter this is definitely going to be added to my everyday makeup drawer it looks so good and i pretty much loved everything that i used in today's video so use up products that you have in your collection and use up your affordable favorites thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed and i cannot wait to see you very soon in my next one bye